Fala galera, bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aqui do canal E hoje eu tô postando um vídeo com a minha noiva americana Esse vídeo na verdade foi postado lá no nosso canal Que eu tenho junto com ela, é a Holly Só que esse canal não vai mais existir O que aconteceu? Simplesmente, todos os vídeos que eu postava lá Agora eu vou passar a postar aqui nesse canal Então, eu quero que vocês vejam Veja se vocês gostam Dá like se você gostar desse tipo de vídeo Porque é muito engraçado Ela, como eu falei, é americana E ela tenta falar português e tudo mais Eu zoo com ela o tempo todo é muito divertido, ela vai aparecer muito mais agora aqui no canal Eu só quero ver se vocês vão curtir esse estilo de vídeo, beleza? E se vocês curtirem esse vídeo aqui, já vai lá no nosso canal Não precisa se inscrever, mas assiste os vídeos que tem lá Que eles são todos muito engraçados, no mesmo nível desse daqui É isso aí, vou parar de falar, tamo junto, se inscreve no canal, falou e curte o vídeo Fala galera, estamos começando aqui mais um vídeo com a Holly Onde ela vai tentar adivinhar, ela não sabe nada do que eu tô falando agora tá? Então eu posso chamar ela de uma pessoa muito... É... Linda, maravilhosa Posso falar que eu tenho casos com outras mulheres Que eu pego geral é? Uhum. Não é? Ué. Então, eu posso falar o que eu quiser Porque então, ela não vai entender é Engraçado pra caramba, né? Deixa eu pegar umas meninas ali, é engraçado, né? É, é, eu sei. é muito engraçado Estou entendendo nada. Eu pego geral, você nem sabe. Ah. <risos> ah. Bom, galera, então a gente tá começando mais um vídeo aqui com a Holly, que é a minha noiva americana. Eu moro aqui nos Estados Unidos já faz 4 anos, pra quem não sabe. Então, hoje a gente vai fazer uma parte 2 no vídeo que a gente já fez, que foi o segundo vídeo do canal, ah. e foi muito bem aceito por vocês, que é Adivinhando Expressões Brasileiras. Eu não sei, só play. Ah, uh, like, what? Hello. You said a Linda at one point? É Marvelosa. Errou! Poderia ser? Marvelosa. Não. <laughs> ok. Ok, so guys know how the game is played. I'm just gonna translate as it is. You know, Portuguese. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, I can't say anything today. I'm just gonna translate Brazilian expressions as they are, and she's gonna try to guess what they mean. Isso aí, pessoal. How do I say I'm ready in English or Portuguese? Estou pronta. Estou pronta. Are you ready, kids? Estou pronta. I can't hear you. Estou pronta. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Ew. Oh God. That was gross. So you can ask me to just put this. <laughs> Just wait, I can't I can talk today. Oh. All right, let's start, let's start. Okay, first expression. The last cracker in the bag. Last cracker in the bag. Um, okay, uh, shoot. So is it, um, <laughs> is it, is it like where we were like, not if you were the last fish in the sea, like that type of thing? Like if I was really hungry, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be with you if, If you were the last cracker in the bag, that type of thing? Yeah, that, that's quite, that's that, That's how it is, but in, in Brazil, we use it like, oh, she's feeling like she's the last cracker in the bag. Like, like she's like super hot. Oh, and the here, everyone wants her? Yeah. Oh, okay. You know? Here we use it like, I like, wouldn't even be with you if you were the last cracker in the bag. Yeah, like the bad thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it. You're cute, by the way. I just noticed. Wow, a year and a half. <laughs> that's how long it took. I was just watching you and I said, oh, you're cute. Thanks. You're cute too. I know. Mas eu fico com mais outras garotas por aí, tá? Yeah. Okay. Okay. To give soup. To give soup. Uh, to help people. <laughs> that was good Like guess. in a soup kitchen. No. Um. <sighs> to give them warm liquids. <laughs> wow! Yes! No. Yes, baby! <laughs> What is it? So it can be used two ways, right? Well, that's so, not fair. No, 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 it is, because they're basically the same. If I'm, if I'm in a club with my friend, and I see a girl, and I'm like, hey, she's giving you soup. It's because, like, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, 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 it's... It, it, It's kind of like she's leading him on. Okay. Right? So Brazilians consider soup an easy food. Easy to make and easy to digest. Mm -hmm. That's why okay. it comes from, right? But I can also say, like, uh... 
six and a half hours later. I don't know, because people get mad when I say something that's wrong. Like, oh, that's how I use this expression. <laughs> Whatever. That's, that's how it says on the website, and I'm just going to stick with that. <laughs> to take the little horse away from the rain. Take the little horse away from the rain. Um... Can you use it as a, I don't know, can you use okay, it as a sentence? <laughs> well, if I can use it in a sentence in a way that you're going to guess. Yes, do that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> say it the way that you would say it to a person. Oh, you can take your little horse off. Wait, how do you say it in English? Oh, you should take your little horse away from the rain. Um, like, like stop being such a baby, like you can do it. No, it's like to give up on something. So like, oh, you want to hit on her? You should take your little horse away from the rain. You know, like, or it's, you see how I'm, you know? Oh, cause like a little horse wouldn't be able to like fit in that. So like, they're not good enough to. No. It's like an insult. Like you don't have a chance with her. She's out of your league. Yeah. Wait, I'm trying to find it. <laughs> You're Brazilian, you should know. I, it's been a while. See, here it says, back when horses were the main form of transportation, travelers would leave their horses outside during quick visits with friends. When the visits will last longer, and then it cuts, because I just took a screenshot. And when the visits will last longer, the hostess would encourage their guests to take their horses out of the rain and shelter them inside a protected area. Over time, this saying came to have a similar meaning as the English expression, don't hold your breath. Oh. That made no sense to me. It drowns the goose. Oh, I feel like we have an expression in English that literally is called, like, drowns the goose. Hmm? Because geese live in the water, so they should drown. I don't know. <laughs> They don't live in the water, they swim. Yeah, they swim well. Okay, so they shouldn't drown. Like, you know, like that expression, like, you could, you drink so much you could drown a fish. That type of thing. Okay, um, well, that's an ex American expression. Um, drown the goose. I don't know. Use it in a sentence. Um, tonight I'm gonna drown the goose. Is this also inappropriate? Okay, I don't want to guess anymore. Just guess it, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's when a man has Okay, I get it. Like you don't drown your goose. I but get I can it. Drown my goose. Stop. You don't have a goose to drown. Only guys have gooses to drown. Uh, I get it. Just trying to explain. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to introduce you to my coach <laughs> to hang his football boots. When you hang your football boots. You guys don't even play football. Hey, this one you can think logically. And yes, it's football, because you play it with your feet. Football is with... Oh yeah, it's with your hands, yeah! <laughs> Go America, woo! We run! Oh, really? Hmm, wow. Yeah. Soccer. Tell that to the rest of the world. Soccer. Anyways, um, to hang up your soccer cleats... Don't change the expression. <laughs> to hang up your soccer cleats would... I, I don't know, to like... Be done? Retire? Good! To retire. Yeah. Yeah. We've had a very similar expression. <laughs> okay. I'm deep fried. Like sunburned? That was a good guess, though. Um <laughs> uh, fatty. No. Greasy. Yummy. Too logical. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go to a girl and be like hey. I am deep fried. Oh, so is this something that you say to a girl? Uh, no, you can see to anyone. Like, oh shit, I'm deep fried. In hot water, like in hot water? Like, I'm, like you're in Big trouble? trouble? Yeah, like we, our phrase, like I'm in hot water. No one cares about your saying. I'm just saying it's interesting that our cultures have similar phrases. It is, it is very interesting. Okay. To pay for the duck. Really, Nick? <laughs> I have no idea. To pay for the duck, to pay for dinner, I don't know. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> yeah! Because like, we only eat duck in Brazil. Maybe you only use that expression when you do eat duck. Bring then it, it wouldn't be an expression! It, hey, is it like bringing home the bacon? No. That's another English expression? Is this video about Brazilian <laughs> expressions or what? Okay, I don't know. What is it? 
Do you want me to use it in a sentence? Sure. After yesterday's confusion, Carlos had to pay for the duck. Would it be like he had to like, I don't know, fix the problem? Cover his butt? Uh, he has to pay for something he didn't do. Like the blame of uh, falls you on you. Blamed. Yeah. Oh, okay. you, have to, you pay for the duck. Oh, uh, I get it. I don't know where that comes from. Huh. Comment down below. Huh. Like the video, subscribe. Share. Sure. I'm ready again. I just forgot. Still <laughs> pronta. Still pronta. Still pronta. Still pronta. Still pronta. Still pronta. Still pronta. Okay. Good job. <laughs> I want to remember it. Still pronta. Okay. <laughs> so that's the last ones, right? Okay. Still pronta. <coughs> Ew. Shit, something is wrong with me. <laughs> this is a very common one, so that's why I picked it. Okay. Still pronta. Uh, to fill spicy pork sausages. Or just to fill pork sausages, I don't know. <laughs> it's just because linguiça, you know linguiça that you ate in Brazil? Churrasco? The sausage? Yes. It's pork sausage. That's why I would say pork sausage. Uh -oh. We can just say sausage. Fill the sausage? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is this one also inappropriate? No, it's not. <laughs> Um, to fill something until it's about to burst. Você é burro, cara. Que loucura. What kind of guess is that? I'm thinking like you fill sausage casing and it fills up, then you eat it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna, that wasn't that I'm, bad of a game. I'm gonna use it in a sentence, alright? Okay. Okay, you can stop filling sausage. Like talking shit? Kind of, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like when you when you just yeah when you talking when you're just talking too much and it's okay, going you're nowhere. Okay. Talk. Yeah. Okay. I wonder why. Yeah. Comment down below. <laughs> like. Subscribe. Share. Why don't you ask them to do that? You're more likely to convince them. Corta. Sinscreva. Comente. Compartila. <laughs> oh. Okay. Two more good ones. Two more good ones because I like this. To travel through mayonnaise. Oh, to travel in the mayonnaise. Oh, <laughs> to travel in the mayonnaise. I'm gonna use it in a sentence, though. <laughs> so I was in class yesterday, and my teacher was uh, talking about. Wait. I want to guess now. Okay, whatever. <laughs> you had to like, like muddle through. You had to like mm -mm. Go get through the hard stuff, the slow stuff. Dang. My I thought it was gonna be like the American expression, going through murky waters or muddy waters or whatever. <laughs> no, uh, to travel in mayonnaise is like when you don't understand something, and when you're just like traveling in the mayonnaise, you're just like. I'm traveling through the mayonnaise trying to understand this expression. <laughs> Good job. To release the chicken. Is it like release the kraken? Like the, in the movie? Release the Kraken! Yes, when they translated to Portuguese, <laughs> the guy said, release the chicken! That's what uh, it means, release, release the Kraken. Stop! <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna use it in another sentence, okay? Okay. So, I was at a party yesterday, and my friend got drunk, and he totally released the chicken. Like, went crazy, just ran around with his head cut off? Just another American expression. Here is saying, let his hair down. I don't really know what that um, means. That's another American expression. Yeah, what it means. It, that basically means just to like let loose. Yes. Go crazy. Let loose party. completely. Yeah. And you just start dancing like a crazy yeah. person. Okay, so that was it for the video, guys. I really hope you guys liked it. Corta, compartida, sin scrava. Comente. 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 Eu gosto de pudim. Eu gosto de pudim. How do you say ready again? <laughs> Estou pronta. Estou pronta! Okay guys, so that was it for the video. I really hope you guys liked it. Comment suggestions down below for next videos or Brazilian stuff that Holly should do, speak Portuguese. I don't know, you guys always love those type of videos. Also, watch our vlogs, they're really funny. Subscribe to our channel, because she deserves it. <laughs> Look at her poor face. She needs money. Poor face? Just make a face like you're like like it's hard to be you. Oh, she needs your help. How many likes does this beautiful girl deserves? <laughs>